Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson KCC 2003 paper 1 question number 20 integration and use of the mid ordinate rule. So let's go straight to the question. Question reads the diagram below is a sketch of the curve y is equals to x squared plus 5. The curve is there running from 0 to 3 in the x axis. First question is the mid ordinate rule find uh, with six strips to estimate the area enclosed by the curve the x-axis and the y-axis and line x is equals to three part two calculate the same area using the integration method and then part b assuming the area calculated in a to above is exact area calculate the percentage error made when the mid ordinate rule is used so those are the questions so let us go straight to the solution starting in the first part where we are supposed to use the mid ordinate rule to estimate so the first thing you're going to do using six strips we shall find the height that you're going to use that the interval to do that we shall take the limits from 3 minus 0 then we divide by the number of uh, strips which are six this will give us the height that you're going to use of the interval now this will give uh, 0 0.5 after getting 0 0.5 um, now we are going to divide uh, from 0 to 3 using the intervals of 0 0.5 and that is what you are going to do. So let me draw these lines. So that is uh, the 3, that is um, the next one I'm going to draw. We subdivide this area in order to have the strips. Now, those are the strips. There are six strips, as you can see. So we shall have the intervals from 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5. Then this will be 2, 2.5, and then 3. Now, those are the, um, the intervals that you have. Now, we need now to identify the mid, the center. Remember using the mid ordinate rule so we have to identify the center or the mid of each of those strips so i'm drawing the mid points that is the ordinates the mid ordinates that is the center of those uh, strips so that is uh, how we should get them the centers of the strips those are the ones that you're going to use we are going to use those heights uh, to calculate the area using the mid ordinate rule. So those are the mid ordinates, the heights that you're going to use for this mid ordinate rule. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see there are six. Now, after doing that, the next thing you're going to do is to identify. So again, those are the mid before we forget this is a mid ordinates that you're going to use so very important to know that having done that we need now to identify these uh, intervals the intervals of the new these are the intervals of the ordinates uh, zero so let me draw a table that now I will have extracted the mid ordinates only using the intervals in the x-axis. Now, having um, subdivided is um, move very fast here. So, 
right it is there so the x and the y so we're not going to write the mid like between 0 and 0 0.5 we have 0 0.25 between 0 0.5 and 1 you have 0 0.75 between 1 and 1.5 we have 1.25 the next ordinate is 1.75 the next one will be 2.25 the one between 2.5 and 3 will be 2.75 those are the mid ordinates the intervals in the x-axis now for y we should use the function of the curve the function of the curve is uh, given as y is equals to x squared plus 5. That is what you're going to use, x squared. So to get y, we shall use that uh, function of the curve, which is uh, x squared plus 5. So that is what you're going to use. So using that, I'll do this one very fast. Using that, we shall get, these are the values that we shall get. 5.0625 then 5.5 that is the second one 625 then for 1.25 we have 6.56 this is uh, 25 then for 1.75 we have 8.0625 uh, then 10.0625 uh, give 10.0625 and then we have 12.5625. So that is what you get after using that function of y is equals to x squared plus 5. That gives the heights, the ordinates y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, and y6. So those are the ordinates that you're going to use in calculation or in estimation of this uh, area under this curve. So having now the height, um, now to get the area using a mid ordinate rule with six strips, the area will be given by the height multiplied by the sum of all the ordinates, all the mid ordinates. That is how we use uh, the mid ordinate rule. So we take the height which is the interval multiplied by that. So the height, um, as we had calculated, the interval, that is the height of each strip, is given by 0 0.5. Then we add all the ordinates from Y1 all the way to Y6. Those are the mid ordinates that we extracted. So very fast. So 5.0625 plus 5, we add everything very fast. Those are there, just there on the top. We're just copying them as fast as we can. So those are the mid ordinates that we have obtained. So all of them are there. So now we have all the mid ordinates uh, included there. So this will give 0 0.5. 0 0.5 then when you add all the mid ordinates uh, their sum will be when you add everything this is what you get adding everything accurately using a calculator you get 47.875 so that is now when you multiply this now you get the area approximated using the mid ordinate rule which will be 23.9375 square units so that is how you're supposed to get the area using the mid ordinate rule now let's go to the second part of the question where you're supposed to calculate the same area using the integration method now we want to use the integration method to calculate the same we are going to integrate uh, from 0 to 3. That is the function of that curve uh, with respect to x. Uh, integrating this, we get x cubed divided by 3 plus 5x. And then you have to add a constant. Don't forget the limits. We are integrating from 0 to 3. This, is, uh, this will give us the area under that curve. So substituting... Uh, 3 
uh, that is x is equals 3 in that uh, expression that is what we get then when you substitute 0 this is what we get when you substitute 0 we just remain with c so working out these working out these um this is what you're going to get this will give 9 plus 15 plus c subtract c and this will give 24 square unit that is the area under that curve approximated using the integration method now part b assuming the area calculated in a part 2 is the exact area that is the area we have calculated using the integration method calculate the percentage error made when the mid ordinate rule is used so how do we get the percentage error percentage error is obtained by getting the error uh, more uh, this is divided by the actual area which is the area that is given in part b multiply by 100 so to get the error remember the actual we are taking the actual area as uh, the area obtained by use of the integration method and that is uh, 24 square units that is 24 square units uh, subtract the area we obtained using the mid ordinate rule which is 23 we are going to write that to four significant figures 23.94 um, that will give the error then uh, divided by the actual which is the area by integration multiplied by 100 so this will give 24 subtract 23.94 0 0.06 divided by 24 multiply by 100 so working out this um, you obtain 0 0.25 percent as the error and that is simply how you're supposed to work out that question on integration and use of the mid ordinate rule